Hey everybody, Those Guys Collections back again with a new opening. We've actually got, for the first time, a booster box. And not just any booster box, this is Evolving Skies. Um, so, uh, obviously it's not just me, it's gonna be uh, myself, Kyle, and... What's going on guys, I'm Matthew as well. I'm with Those Guys Collections too. And this is our uh, Evolving Skies booster box. I actually bought this on Amazon and I paid 172 with I think like 11 uh, with shipping or something. So yeah, it was about 188 total and it was really sick. I'm glad we got it and I'm about to open this up for you guys. So right here, I do notice the plastic is a little, um, I am left the camera to see this actually. It's a little weird, like almost got resealed. So I'm kind of scared going into this. It doesn't look exactly right, but we will see how it looks inside. Yeah, I felt like it, it you can actually, you can feel a roughness of it, so it's almost yeah. like they melted it closed. But, yeah, I, this is also our first booster box, so maybe that's just how they make them. And we've used those before, we know. Like, yeah, I mean, I've seen I've seen that been done, so. Yeah. Well, not like on this, but on other products, this is not going well. <laughs> Alrighty, we got it there. Let's get this wrapping off this side. How does it open up? So it's oh, actually, in the front? It's actually a display box, so it's like for what you'd see in a store. Oh, right. I didn't even think about that. They had them in the back where you push them down, yeah. yeah I'm totally doing this because <laughs> how often are we going to be able to do this? Not very often, and that is yeah. sick. Ba -ba! So we'll see that in the camera shot there. That is awesome. Yeah, that is the uh, Evolving Skies. So I will let you do the honors of actually opening the first one, but we do gotta take our six out because we're actually keeping three apiece. Yeah, so uh, just to break it down for you guys, uh, those guys' collections so far is just consistent of us two. Uh, we have other people in our group that are not quite as involved, but it, for right now it's just mostly me and Matt here. But uh, we went halfsies on these, this because this is our first booster box and um, just because, like you said, it's like over $180 after tax and everything. Um, I did realize they just put it on sale for like $30 off, so that's lovely, but, um, you know, whatever. I'm hoping, um, they got some, like, killer cards in here. Like, there's literally some 300, 200, uh, 140, 130, 120. I mean, there's a bunch of really expensive cards in here. And the thing is, those are the expensive cards. It even goes down to, like, $20 cards, and those aren't the best, but then again, it's still a $20 card, and you gotta think, there's, like, 50 of those on there as well. So it does add up. Hopefully we get some of those along with the $100 cards. Yeah, so we're just gonna count, I'm just gonna count, make sure there's actually, uh, you know, the 36 here. And I wanted to make sure that they look still. like they're not resealed or anything. They don't, so I, I trust it. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, it, lo it doesn't look resealed. It looks pretty uh, straightforward and sealed up, so hopefully it's good. Yep, 18 on my side. Should be 18 on yours. So <clears throat> what we're doing is uh, we bought 36 of them. Uh, it's a booster bat box. That's what they come in. Um, not no big shocker there. We uh, decided we're gonna put half away, um, or not half away. We're gonna put three away each, and half would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going gonna go through and pick a couple of cool ones. So I'm gonna pick out a Rayquaza pack because I love me a Rayquaza. I will also. Umbreon. I gotta take the Umbreon. I'm definitely gonna take a Tower as well. I think I'm going to take the Sylveon. And I'm going to take a Sylveon. I'm going to skip the Umbreon. Hope the Sylveon's better. Actually, I'm switching. <laughs> I'm going for the Umbreon. Wish Already me done. the best. <laughs> so, uh, three. We're on, uh, taking these three. We're just going to put these aside. And what we're doing is we're storing these away. And hopefully one day we can sell these for more. Or maybe we'll open them and we'll find something even better. And also, guys, I know I didn't mention it, but this is 18. I did count it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll take... I'm going to go ahead and start off with a Rayquaza first. Uh, we'll see what we get. Seems okay. I will take mine and take another shot. So, I'm not really sure what the count is on this. Uh, so, I take my code card out. So, one, two, three. It could be four. I might have just messed that up. So, we'll see. Nope. Um, Okay, we'll, we'll see if I really mess it up. So, first off, Politoed, Golduck, Boostrick. I'm just going to kind of go through real fast. Uh, some of these are con are doubles that I've actually had in the past. Um, nothing really to look at. Um, I got a Jump Luff. 
All right, so I did mess up. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh, we're good. Okay, so the jump bluff is mine. Uh, nothing too special about that guy. Not a high value card. Um, and I got the snow leaf badge. Kind of cool. It's a little got the reverse hollow going on there. Yeah, rather energy. So uh, nothing too special. But I'll let you go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, we're getting into my pack. Bear with me, guys, as I have not opened a lot of packs with gloves on. So this is going to be very challenging for me. <laughs> I did open this one pretty well, honestly. I managed quite well. Got that off. Alrighty, and then we take one, three from the back, and put them to the front. There we are. Alright, so we're starting off with a Gordy. I'm not taking the side. Elias, Nuzleaf. Tentacool, that one's pretty nice. Punkaboo, I never saw that one before. <laughs> Abogon. See that? Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice tentacle. That's, that's a reverse hollow too, right? Reverse hollow, yep. And we got an energy. So nothing special. I mean, rare is okay. Tell that one fun. looks really nice though. I do like that one. That's if you that's nice. You can see the hollow there. Yeah, that is really nice. I love a tentacle too. He's one of my uh, favorite water types. Oh yeah. I mean, water type is my favorite type. Of those. And I got uh, a tentacruel and a tentacool. So, Did you? Uh, yeah, let me find it. Oh yeah, look at yep. that. So you got a matching one. Yep. So matching. Nice. Pretty cool, guys. So I'll let you go ahead and open that first one on the next wave. Alrighty, I'm going to jump straight into the Rayquaza pack. That's what I did. My last one was a Sylveon. It did not have me lucky. So, let's see if I can open this up talently. Alright, we got it. So far, every one of our pack has gotten this Bagon. So this Bagon's got to be the most common card in the Very <laughs> true. Series. Alrighty, I will flip this over for you guys as I did not last time. There it is. Alrighty. One, two, three. That should be three. three. It's, yeah. a, it's so weird. I'm, I'm glad it, three, it was three, but uh, some of them are actually four. Kind of weird. Yeah. Crescent. Crystal Carrier. Crystal Cave. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him now. Wobbuffet. I love Wobbuffet. Oh, I never saw that one. The Weeble. The Weeble. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that one is very nice. The Reverse Hollow. Again, nothing, uh, probably less than a dollar, but still cool looking card. It means, I do like it means, the. It means something to us. Yeah, I do like the art on it. And you guys see, like, the art, the art in the background is pretty cool, too. I don't know if it's regularly it is. Oh, Tropius, and then Energy. So. So, Tropius was your rare one. Nothing really too, yep. too fancy there. I'm going to go with the Tower one. Um, so, uh, forgive me, guys, if uh, I'm wrong. Just let me know if this is a, uh, like, a, a Pokemon. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really understand it. I'll put my packs over here so you guys can see them in my shot so you know where I'm pulling from. Make sure nothing weird. So, so just so, uh, Matt, this is the best thing I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've got, like, you kind of just peel apart. I don't know. I, oh, from top? Yeah, you like, you just kind of flick at it. I don't know. It, it doesn't always work, but so far, I'm like two for two. So, or, I just wanted to, oh, you. I don't know. Okay, you guys, so you guys, before I flip, you guys see the line? There's a line down my card. That's so oh, weird. Wow, That's so that weird. Is awful. All right, well, I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and three from the back. Uh, of course, I had my code card. I just kind of tossed that over there. Oh, shell gun. We that's actually matching art style, so I like that. I'm happy we finally got the evolution to the big on that we've all been seeing. Uh, I got another drowsy. Rock and roller. Okay, apple in. Uh, that's a reverse hollow there. You guys can see that it's a. Uh, Another weird thing, I'm like, I, I'm a newer Pokemon collector again. I used to collect them in the past. Somebody stole them. I never played again. <laughs> Come back into it, you know, almost 20 years later. And now they have reverse hollows that are like this. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, it is. A Gorgeist is my uh, rare. I actually have that one, I believe. They have one of the similar art style, but again, nothing nothing fancy. Yep. So, um, I believe I go next. You do go next. All right, so I am gonna go with an Umbreon pack next. So let's see if I can get it three for three. Oh, oh almost. All right, see now that I said something. <laughs> now it's not working. Okay, there you go. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that, ladies and gentlemen. I have very. <laughs> what the? Big heck? What the heck, guys? <laughs> oh wow. The line. The uh, lines are killer. This is no fun. That's two for two. Code card over here. One, two, three. All right, so uh, Rebombi. I got that one on Hollow, I believe, at, or before. Avalog, Ribbon Badge, Temple, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu. I bet you would like that one. I would like that but, one. That's my Pikachu. Matt, Matt here is a big fan of Pikachu. We got uh, Bulldore and the non Hollow, what you got. Oh, I might have to either let you have the other one or maybe get that one. Yeah, on I'll one. trade this one to you. Actually, I think I might already have the reverse Hollow of it. So, actually, I might have both. No, <laughs> it's hard to say, yeah. really. Yeah, you have a lot of cards. So many packs. So I believe it's your go. Yep, I'm going to open the tower card. Or the tower pack, I mean. <laughs> tower card. I'm going to try to flick, like he had said. It's not probably going to work for me, though. It's not, so <laughs> I'm going to do it my way. My way or the highway might hurt the cards. I got it though, pretty easy. That one didn't bend too much. Oh, never mind, I don't need your Pikachu. <laughs> That's wrong. I got my own Pikachu. Alrighty. So, one, two, three. Starting off with a Rimbombi. I just got that one too. <laughs> yep, Flaffy. I don't think you got that one, right? I'm not going to block No, you have not. Oh, Another Pikachu in my thing. <laughs> Oh, is that the same one? I think I put it in the front. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Shuffles to the back. Maybe see. I'll have to check there. Low tad. Woo bat. Ooh, a nice reverse hollow flat. That's very cool. Oh, that's cool. That is nice, guys. And then, oh, took it with me. The Smeargle is my rare, I guess. <laughs> Sadly. Let me see if I uh, double check if I had two Pikachus or not. No, I do not. Okay, I was I was wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that's a very nice one on top. I do like the reverse hollow. Probably not worth more than a dollar, but still. So as long as it's worth something to you, that's all that really matters. Right. Power through the next one here. All right. So you'll notice, guys, so we'll uh, pick up speed as these uh, we get through these booster packs because we'll start seeing more and more common. So, um, but. So, oh. one, two, three. I'm just hoping we see some hits soon. All right, so Hippaldon, Braviary, Lucky Ice Pop, Apple, and I got the reverse hollow of him, so that's cool. I got a matching set now. Yes. Nicket, that's kind of cute. That is. Uh, Bird Knight, Emolga. Ooh, I have never seen this Pokemon before. And that's a reverse hollow. Yeah, a red, oh god, Reggie Drago. <laughs> that's uh, so weird. Yeah, Reggie Drago. That's crazy. Oh, uh, you see what's going on up here? What's going on up here? Why is it? There's like slashes. It, it, that, that's like part of the card. It's not like a misprint. Yeah. It's just cool. Never seen that before. It is All right. cool. All right. Oh, Ooh. whoa. What the heck? Wow. And you got the hollow? <laughs> I got a whole set right here. All right. That that's is neat. awesome. So, um, back to back, guys. That's kind of cool. Whoever packed this pack, thank you, man. Yeah, you Thank you, packer good. number 323, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> 323,000. <laughs> All right, so it's still not really worth anything, uh, but cool pulls nonetheless. So, not you yep. you pull next. I'm going to get into my Sylveon pack. Very nice. Ready. So we're gonna take this one off. One, two, three in the front. Kind of sloppy. It's okay. <laughs> so it's Vilius. Skip Bloom. Can't pronounce that. <laughs> Scraggy. Phoebus. A Hitmonchan. Oh, I love Hitmonchan too. That artwork is pretty cool. Amogla. Hop up. A reverse hollow of the Herdier. Or here, do you? I don't say that. And a Thweevil. Not bad. Pulled some of those. Yeah, you can pull a million of those, honestly. The commons. I'm just going to adjust the camera here, real quick, guys. Try to give us a little bit more space for our arms here. So we're just going to go back and forth now. We're not, we're not, we're not going to alternate taking turns <laughs> right. with rounds. So. Not when we have 18 packs. Exactly. Let's try to rounds. So. 15. Let's see what's in this pack. We got Apple in. Let's 
Ooh, I totally forgot to do the three cards from the back on this one. Wow, guys, look at me messing up here. Well, um, I blew the the reverse hollow is uh, Ribombi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Vagon. Pumpkin Bee. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go straight through to uh, Scotland is the rare. So nothing good in this pack. Oh, you actually got the one to mine. Hold on. Let me find it. Oh, oh the evolution. Nice. Yes. Look at that. Mine's a reverse hollow. Right, yes. So I'll let you go next. Alrighty. See, see how much room I gave you? I think I gave you some more room to... Yep. Be able to do it from this side, make it a little easier for you. We'll see. We <laughs> adapt as we go. Learn with us, guys. By the way, I researched the card I pulled, guys. It was only a 53 cent card. <laughs> <laughs> so. Alrighty. One, two, three. Starting off with the Avalog, Snow Leaf Badge, Gordy, Zor. Uh, Zora, Psyduck, a Rufflet, Drowns its core, it works out like that. Flabby. Kimbo, reverse hollow. Reverse hollow. Oh! Ooh, there oh go. my god, Sylveon VMAX, I think so, it's a $100 it's got, card actually. It's gotta be our first hit, let's see what that is, let's hope. Alright, so probably... I wish it was 100 <laughs> That's a pretty nice one though. So we definitely gotta sleeve that baby. Yeah, I'm um, sleeving that so... right now. Well, let me hook you up with a pack here. Um, so, what's the number on that baby on the bottom here? It is 75 out of 203. Yeah, I see it down there. 75 out of 203. I just really want to like zoom in on this guy. Let's yeah, that is really awesome. This. So we're gonna go sleep this real quick. We'll be right back. Alright, so we got it all, all sleeved right, here, yeah. um, and uh, we of course are going to put in a card, uh, one of those nicer, uh, oh, what do you call them, card savers, but I looked it up, it's only $3.72 card, $3.72. Yeah. That is sad, ladies and gentlemen, but if you look here, it is in very good condition though, it could still be PSA 10, so. Yeah, the nice thing about these sync cards is they appreciate, like right now, I actually was right. watching a couple videos, and I hear that uh, a lot of the cards are depreciated, these newer cards. Um, and eventually they're gonna, they're under undervalued because they're just they're too new. So give them a couple years. A Sylveon is a part, part of the Eevee Illusions, and people love Eevee, man. Every every one of the Eevee Illusions, uh, they're the fan base for. So I mean, if you look back at the Team Rocket boosters, any of the other good very well, very good packs, you'll notice that like a lot of those ones, the first name ones, are very rare and they cost a lot. Exactly. Like, for example, Bulbasaur. If there was a good Bulbasaur, like, even a common is worth, like, $100 in one of those old packs. Hey, look! I, oh, that is awesome. I got the reversing, the reverse hollow match to mine. <laughs> that is very nice. And a Sharpedo. I do like this art style. Not worth anything. I'm not even going to look it up, but still <laughs> cool. So, so Mac could get nothing, that was nothing fancy out of that pack. Yep, going into our next pack here. So the goal behind all this, guys, is of course to uh, try to make money so we can buy another box and keep going. Um, so far, it's not looking like we're going to be able to afford a very nice box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true, but we are all the way through the packs, and on top of that, we did save six other ones. Plus, if you guys think about it, you guys could buy some off us too, so if you ever want to... Yeah, we'll we... have a link to our eBay down below, and you can look through any of these cards that we have uh, pulled here. Starting out with a hurt here. Pyroar, Dream Ball, that Dream Ball is actually pretty cool, I never saw it before. Oh, Andina. Teddy Arisa, Phoebus, I like that one, that one is really cute, Nick it. Oh yeah. Another, what? Is there a reverse holo or that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, a Kyrum, or oh, a holo cool. Kyrum. That's a holo? Very nice. Oh, yeah. dude, I didn't even see that as holo. Yeah, that is very nice. That's pretty cool. Probably, good. Unfortunately, not one of the high value cards, but still, it's really cool to us. So, we're probably looking at a, probably about a 50 cent card. Yeah, I mean, still cool though. But, yeah, still, um, nice card. The nice thing about being a collector is yeah, anything that we find that we don't necessarily <laughs> think is going to make our money back, don't mind my mess here, uh, really, we could just keep it for ourselves. Because if, if it's worth more to us than it is to you, then why should we. Uh, 
you know, risk it. True, and on top of that, I mean, I have my own collection, so I have hollows, I have reverse hollows, I have my own separate categories, and I don't have a lot of hollows right now, so, I mean, that's not bad if I wanted to keep that for my own collection, even. Exactly, it's a nice little addition to your, uh, little setup. <clears throat> but if we get, like, a $100 card, yes, we are going to sell that one, because we want to keep buying boxes and doing this for fun to watch you, or to show you guys YouTube videos of it, keep the content pushing. And I actually have uh, been buying off eBay too, and I want to be, be able to bring a couple reviews because I have had some really bad, uh, you know, eBay sellers, and I wanted to kind of show the world about some of these garbage people out there. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. the uh, this person really like they uh, they made a span a fake listing. They were trying to take advantage of people, and uh, as soon as you jumped on the listing, uh, they would have sent out all these open packs, loose cards. And then you had got mad because you thought you were buying brand new. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god! All right, so first of all, <laughs> this is Rayhan. Um, these trainer cards I'm learning are worth a little bit more, but not the reverse, not something like this. this yeah, is... like a rainbow version. This guy be. though, it's a oh Rayquaza of Max, baby. Let's go! All right, so let's see what this guy's worth. Once. All right, all the excitement drained out of me, but it's still the best card we pulled so far. Yeah, um, this true. is a five dollar card, five dollar eighty three cents via TCG player at this right moment i just kind of i have the page open as we pull um <laughs> so i'm gonna throw this in here real quick this is a pretty precious card um still probably the best it actually is the best card we pulled i'm gonna leave him up there for us to admire while matt pulls the next pack yep and actually i will set my sylveon next to that just because they are both very nice v maxes yeah and as i pull into this next pack we'll see if i can pull one of the better cards that is going to make some money Starting off with an Emolgra. Get that out of the camera. One, two, three. All right, and a Swoobat, Lombri, Lucky Ice Pop, the Emolgra, Hop Up, Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet. Ooh. Oh, I like that one. Reverse, Ampharos. reverse hollow Ampharos. Yeah, Ampharos is awesome. And oh, a Glaceon V. Ooh, very nice. Very Glaceon awesome. V. So um, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna throw this out here. Probably not worth as much as we hope, um, but still cool nonetheless. So we definitely gotta sleeve that baby. Of course. I mean, any Vs and Vmaxes, guys, you might as well sleeve because in 20 years, you don't know what those are going to be worth. Think about the cards that were 20 years ago from today. Yeah, I mean, that Charizard that's worth like a 50 grand, um, somebody was probably trading that for sticks of bubblegum and lunch, can lunch money. <laughs> so, <laughs> true. So, um, let's see, pull the next one. We're just going to go straight into the next. We're going to give you the values all at the end. I am going to stop looking this up and driving you guys mad with us uh, going back and forth. Bring all your values right at the end, show you the best, the worst, and we'll give you the values or how much we've made or hope to make, anyways. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Gotta pull that uh, dreaded code card out. Yep, you gotta pull that $100 card out right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Keep fingers crossed, baby. All right, all right, we got Gigalith. Uh, so that card does look kind of cool. Um, I am a fan, probably not worth anything. Very true. Tropius, we've already pulled <laughs> him, and uh, you're up. All righty. Getting right into it. Get that. Mm -hmm. That is a reverse hollow. Reverse hollow. Hippopotus. Yep, Hippopotus. And a pincer. Oh, yeah. Very sad about the pincer, honestly. And then we got a energy, yeah, obviously. <laughs> cool looking pincer. No, unfortunately, not worth anything. Yep. So, go on the next one. Again, guys, I hope to sell these in lots because, in case you don't notice, cards are very. Or, it's shipping a like 23 cent card for a 43 cent stamp and then paying you know ebay fees or whoever else you're selling it on just not worth it <laughs> so um 
and we will be selling a lot of these cards in groups. Very true. Ooh, I forgot about this. So get the code card out. I I'm really bad about that, guys. So hopefully one day I'll get good at that. So all right, uh, spirit mask, kind of creepy, creepiest, creepiest card I've pulled tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a pumpkaboo, reverse hollow, Altaria, nothing fancy. All right, well that this was pack. Right. <laughs> all right, on to the next, guys. <laughs> Lick our I, wounds and move forward. <laughs> I will say that uh, spirit face was pretty weird, or whatever, with spirit mask. Yeah. It looked a little weird. Gives me like a ha Hayao Miyazaki vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, very true. Like creepy My Neighbor Totoro, whatever. Yeah. Not, I guess not Totoro. I already started opening this, sorry guys. Although I suck at opening them in general, so. <laughs> Alrighty. One, two, three. All right, Shopping Center, Lantern, Ursa, Teddy Ursa, Reap, Zorua, Tentacle, Hop Hip. That was funny. Oh, Moon and Sun Badge. That looks very nice. I kind of need Reverse Hollow, too. Yeah, very good. Try to show the camera that. And we got an Ampharos as our rare. Whoop de do. <laughs> Unfortunate. That's the fourth one I think I've pulled. <laughs> All right. New drop in the comments down below. Uh, what you think is the best way to sell these cards? Uh, do you think you'd or how you'd rather buy a card? I should say. Uh, would you rather buy them in groups of slight cards, so you're buying six Ampharoses, or would you rather buy an Ampharos mixed in with a whole bunch of other cards? Let me know down below in the comments, or not. <laughs> True. Feed us something to talk about, guys. So, oh, Hypno. So this kind of matches the art style of the Drowsy we've been pulling. I actually really like that. I'm a, that is very I'm a big nice. fan. Big fan. Moving forward. Um, so we got uh, Fletch Finder. Oh, God, sorry. Not Lantern. <laughs> Cutie Fly. Uh, the Pikachu. Applin. Emolga. Tentacool. We got Gordy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Umbreon V. All right, that's a pretty bat baller card. All right. So I'm going to sleeve that baby. That's going to be my second uh, good pull for the night. And I will be honest, guys. Out of all of them, like Sylveon, Glaceon, uh, and Umbreon, I would say Umbreon is definitely the coolest looking one. Like, there's no doubt about that. Not uh, card-wise. I just mean, like, out of their actual, like, fit. Like, I personally like his colors the most. Oh, yeah. Umbreon's got this uh, nice black-yellow. Um, big for, uh, you know, a special sports team. But, um, <laughs> but no, they, uh, uh, it's just, like, a sleek color. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people are, I love the color black. Black goes with everything. Half my clothes are black, so. That's very true. And all my clothes are black as well. So, <laughs> I'm going to start off with this one, the Rayquaza. Out of here. Alrighty. One, two, three. Sharpedo. That's my reverse hollow. Ooh, I got the rare. I got the regular rare of that, not the reverse hollow. That's kind of cool. And what will it be? Ah, uh, Smeargle again. Hey, you got another one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I've pulled that seven times. <laughs> I wonder if these packs are a little rigged here, guys. <laughs> well, we do have to realize we're pulling the same, uh... I know. Same booster <laughs> pack. It, it is kind of weird, or, uh, not weird, but, uh... It's kind of neat to think that they have literally the counters on the bottom of the cards. So there's 203 cards, but you gotta think there's, like, three... Uh, maybe not three... I don't know how many variations, because you got the hollows, you got the non-hollows, you got the reverse right. hollows, whatever. So you could have three three versions of the same card. Um, so you got 203, that's 406, so 609? Uh, yeah, I mean, that is pretty crazy. I would say uh, I would rather have different cards, though. I wish that they would add a little more to the pack sometimes, because it seems like they don't switch up in the same pack, like... I wish I'd add a little more cards to it in variety, maybe. Right. Out of the 203 cards, I mean, I wonder how many we really we've pulled. And how, many exactly. we how many we haven't pulled. Exactly. And it's like, you got to buy a thousand packs to get different, like, get the regular whole cards, even even commons. Yeah, I didn't even Zelda. Reverse Hollow Rescue Carrier. Oh, that is very nice. And a rare uh, Hollow, Hollow, uh, Forgus. Yep. 
Nothing fancy, but still cool. Moving on. Alrighty. Got a clean rip down the middle on that one. You'll notice as we uh, get better opening these packs, we will get faster, but uh, right now we bear with us. We are actually expecting a little longer, so we're doing pretty good on time so far. Um, we are going to try to speed up a lot of the, like I said, a lot of these are starting to be commons that we've had uh, multiples of. Nothing real fancy yet. We've got four cool cards that are worth a couple bucks, I believe. Oh, that is a very nice reverse hollow. Really cool vigor off. Uh, neat, neat thing is about these cards is we can put a couple of these cards together to make. Oh, oh Glacian V Max. V -Max. So that's got to be a nice one. That um, is I, definitely. I quit looking at the screen and trying to figure these prices out because I'll just wait till <laughs> the end to get you guys Oops, the prices. Sir. But while you sleeve that one baby up. Oh yeah, I gotta sleeve that one second. I will open the next pack. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, that was a very nice pull, guys. Come on, give me another hit. It, 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 so far we're even for hits. Uh, so, card Very one, true. two, three. Nuzleaf. Uh, I just want to comment, this penguin's cute. I, I got another one, but it's, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I like it. Uh, uh, reverse hollow bergmite. And Sharpedo uh, again. <laughs> I've had three Sharpedos as well, so I understand the pain. Yeah, at least you got the reverse hollow of the match. True, yeah, I knew the reverse hollow, <laughs> but I've already got it. And different pack, I think. Nice. <laughs> so, getting into this one. A tear from me right here. <laughs> there we are. Alrighty. Nothing special yet. Gosh. Pikachu, that's the best one yet, guys. <laughs> Look at this. $100 card at least. <laughs> if you want to buy it, eBay. Ooh. Hey, at least you got a reverse Pokemon. hollow of that thing. Yep. I, I pulled the regular version. Oh, Ooh, that's cool Articuno, one. and it's a hollow. That is a very nice rare. Or, well, legendary. Probably not worth anything, but still oh, a killer card. That thing is beautiful. I love this. Uh, yeah. I got to say, I, I, I'm... I'm uh, partial to the original three birds, but uh, the Galarians are a nice change. Get a little refresher on the, the legendary birds from the first gen. And I didn't even actually see that it was Galarian. That adds the value mm -hmm. a lot for me personally because I do like the Galarian set so much. <laughs> that was sarcasm, guys. I just uh, want my you friend... to know this, this kid here is lying right now, <laughs> lying his teeth. My friend Kyle, he knows here. Uh, that I do not enjoy the Glarion set, but I do like the birds. I will say that's the best ones out of them, my opinion. Yeah, I mean, the, the Galarian Meowth was a little scary when I was, you know, getting into the the Galarians, but mm -hmm. once I got past that, Galarian person's not that bad, I guess. Right. <laughs> Look, you're Smeargle. <laughs> All right, you're up. Whoa. Let's get through this one. Rip. One, two, three. Ooh, I like that art. That, that art's down there. Oh, I didn't actually see the art style. That's cursoring. Look at that, man. That's a very cool art style. I like the moon. Yeah. And I got a more of a night person myself. <laughs> Chugging along through with the Scraggy, Bagoon, Woobat, Timpoldy, Psyduck, oh, Reverse Hot, or Reverse Hollow Sublime. And a Drampa, or Drampa, however you pronounce that. <laughs> we haven't got 20 of those. We are used to the commons, though, but we need to hit big, you know? We want to hit a good one. So we're getting close to the end. If we uh, if we don't get the, you know, money-making card in one of these packs, it's pretty much uh, determined that that it has to be in those cards that we're holding. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I mean, that's the best bet. It makes them worth that much more, and you can hit us up for if you want to buy those packs. <laughs> because you guys know that we're going to not have, like, this low of card rate. We are definitely have more than this, so it has to be in those packs. It's going to be good. Either the last two we're pulling or those ones. <laughs> ooh, this ooh. is our plug by those right. packs. What? I'm keeping uh, my good mojo here. we gotta keep. We got to yep. wish for good luck. One, two... 
flip it over. All right, so a long patch, right here, and a spear mask. <laughs> Chugging. Russell and Frost. Oh right, my. Good. Moving on. And Frost again, guys. Good mojo this is card. hard. We are getting very close to the end, guys. We held three packs. Max, this is the second to last. I have one more. Matt has one more after this, so keep this fingers crossed, guys. So I noticed some of the code cards are white and some of them are green. Yeah, that is very weird. So, I didn't notice that as uh, well. You, pull, you just pulled a white one, so we'll see what right. you, if you get anything cool out of this pack. Yeah, because I noticed there are some that are white, and it's different. I noticed that as well. Alrighty, moving on. Damn. I know the, I know the YouTube, YouTuber actually pointed it out before, but... Ooh. A reverse hollow. Gor yep. Gorgies. Oh! oh! Sweet Coon V, that's a killer card, dude. I don't, don't know what it's worth. But it's still cool. Could be worth a dollar, could be worth two dollars, could be worth a hundred dollars, <laughs> but we're hoping for a lot. Let's but you know what, guys? It's uh, all in the uh, owner's perspective. You guys could buy this for 50 and be happy. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. This thing is I, 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 I love how they make these new cards. I mean, this is just, like, beautiful. I know, I'm, I'm so jealous of you, man. I'm, I know. I pulled really good cards. I might trade offer a trade from Arquazo, which is like a five ah. five dollar card for a one dollar card. We'll, Maybe we'll see. Again, we'll see at the end. I'll, and again, guys, <laughs> all deals are done off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, really last pack. Uh, this has got to be something good. If it's not good, then uh, something's failed me today. <laughs> we were so hope? excited when we got this in the mail today. We uh had to literally open it today we've been we don't really want to wait yeah and we were going to open it two days from now but we just couldn't wait and we've been through a lot today a lot of work and other things we had to do we had a nice uh, party we went to today yep spend some time with some friends and now we're hopefully making some money all right we got a white card all right you got a cool card out of your white pack so let's see if anything cool comes out of this guys keep your fingers crossed yeah i think if it's the white card it's the um Good one, hopefully. V Max or something. Or V. Crossle. <laughs> Switching cups. Elemental patch. Alright, Psyduck. I got uh, the reverse hollow Ooh. of your Galarian Articuno, and I got oh! a Requaza V! Match your Requaza! Alright, cool. I got a, a set of Requazas. So that's why all deals are done off camera because now I got a set, guys. That's now awesome. Now he might be able to trade me. <laughs> uh, this could be worth something, though. Um, we'll have to see. Yep. Uh, so I'll be back. I will open this. And let Matthew go through. I'm just going to start pricing these out while you're getting this last rip in. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. One, two, three. Oops, sorry for the camera. Going through. Alright, guys, Pikachu. fingers crossed. It's gotta be something good. Gotta be Apple something good. Gotta be something good. Mogla. Reverse Hollow Ataria. And uh, Galarian Ooh, Moltres. Galarian Moltres. It's Dude, not bad. I, actually, set. I got I, a very good set. I actually have that card. It's a beautiful card. Um, Not worth very much, but, but still, still, nice still card. awesome card. So, uh, just to give you guys a perspective real quick, I'm going to let you look at all of our cards here we pulled. These are just the hits. Uh, we're going to come back with a price real quick, so um, bear with me. I'm going to price these out and we'll be right back at you. Alright guys, and we are back. So, here are our hits. We stacked them up in uh, piles according to mine and... Matthew is here. Yep. Um, so of course these are just the uh, some of the like bigger hits. We may have missed some. Um, so so there may be some like uh, these cards. I know these cards are like forty three cents. <clears throat> um, I think mine's a worth a little less than Matthew's because Matthew's is the oh, rare. Right. You want to pull your whole yours up. So his is the rare. Mine's the reverse hollow. So mine's probably worth a little less than his, but. Uh, 44 45 cents, but you add that up a whole bunch of times. Maybe we'll get up to no. There's no way <laughs> <laughs> well, so, we, hope. we definitely probably lost out on this, but let me show you uh, Exactly how how and uh, we did have a little bit of luck. So um, Wasn't a complete wash, right? Yeah, well, I mean it wasn't as bad as it could have been We easily could have had cards that were like only a dollar So at least we did get two cards that were significantly better than the rest 
Right. So first of all, uh, this is my pile, this is Matthew's pile, these are the ones we pulled, this is going to quote unquote mine. We are uh, partners in this business, so really these are the businesses, but since we are partners, we work 50-50, we, up until the point we decided to make our money back, everything's half and half. Exactly. Uh, fair, fair deal here. So let me show you what how it breaks down. So the first of all, the cheapest card we pulled, the least expensive that we thought was going to be really nice was actually my card, Requaza V. Yeah. So he's actually only a hundred and, or a dollar and 20 cent card. Um, his number is 110 out of 203 there. Look him up on TCG, but he is a beautiful, uh, beautiful card. So, and he's in really good condition. So I think uh, he may be a candidate to keep and grade one day or what, something like, cause he may be worth a whole bunch of more money one day. Yeah, and Rayquaza is a very likable card. A lot of people like Rayquaza. Yeah, I mean, he's a, one of the top... Uh, he, he, I would say he's in my top... Ooh, top ten, probably. It's hard to say, though, because I, I have a long list. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching... I've been, I've been all about Pokemon since 1995. So. <laughs> Alright, so uh, next up, uh, the next expensive card is the Glaceon V that you pulled. So, a dollar and 23 cent card yep. here. Come down here. I'm going to put this card down here. Make it a little fair for you guys. I do like the card, though. It has very good artwork on it, I will say. Love yeah. the frost. See, the nice thing about cards like this, uh, something like this might be something better we, we should keep. But uh, if we sell it, it's going to be on our eBay. You'll see. But uh, we may keep these because they may be worth more later on or may be worth in our own, more in our own personal collection. So uh, next up, uh, we have the... Ooh, not one of mine. No, no, no. It's uh, one of yours. So yours, it's a Glaceon V Max. So the next Glaceon is this guy. Yep. Uh, $3.06. That is very nice. I love the artwork. $3, I mean, it isn't much, but it's still, I mean, it's artwork. It's cool. Uh, again, and like I said, it's a uh, it's an Eevee Lucian, so mm -hmm. it's worth something. Um, yep. Every, all the Eevee Lucians have, are highly collectible, so... Very true. Uh, next one up is going to be your uh, Cillion, uh, ooh, Cillion VMAX at $3.72. So that is very nice. Again, I love how they do these lines straight down the middle. They make really nice cards. These cards are thicker. Um, I just I like them. They're really different from what the old rares used to be. Very true. Yeah, they do look a lot different. And they do look a lot thicker and feel a lot thicker because actually the... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the old cards were very thin in comparison. They were like, I want to say a quarter of an inch thinner, at least. Right. All right, guys, sorry about that. We got a little interrupted while recording, but we're back at it. Uh, yep. Didn't move it. Didn't even move. So uh, next up, our card is going to be Rayquaza VMAX. It's uh, $5.80. Um, I actually love how they have this. The V Max has like this little red crown on him almost. Yeah, it looks really awesome. But a uh, really neat card. Uh, again, only five dollars eighty cents. I thought this was gonna be one of our bigger pull, best pulls, and I was kind of getting upset. But don't worry, it's only our third best. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, guys, you will be shocked by the best pull. Which one do you think it's gonna be? So we only got two left. Between uh, Matthew Suicune V and my Umbreon V. So, uh, time will tell. They're probably going to be an evolution uh, if it's come down to two. But it's hard to say because Suicune is also beloved. I mean, I was ready to trade you my Rayquaza for your Suicune. I mean, I'll um, probably take your Umbreon if you're willing, Kyle. See, that, that's the thing. I will probably actually have to sell this Umbreon to make a little bit of money back. But <laughs> yeah, it will so probably you sell the Suicune as well. So, so um, let's just let's take a look at uh, this Umbreon here and this Suicune here. Drop a comment down below, guys. Um, which one is your favorite, regardless of the value? Uh, don't think about value, guys. So, next up, the second to last most expensive card we got for nine dollars and eighty three cents is Sweet V. Yep, it's pretty nice. I do enjoy. Like, it is a nice artwork, but um, nine dollars and eighty three cents. I probably will end up selling it for the business because we do gotta make money back on this booster box. Right, we gotta pay back and get the next one somehow. Yeah, exactly. Eventually, and eventually, my fiance is gonna start saying something. Yeah, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> yeah, and um, on top of that, I mean, realistically, even if we sell all these cards here, we might only get well out of the good ones. We might only get like forty bucks, fifty bucks. But you know, maybe we can find a cheap booster box and convince her. <laughs> Who will know? Time will tell. 
And we do have other a couple other boxes to help, uh, that we got, and they're on the way to open and hopefully help pay for the next one. So we'll see how much we can make uh, after we dumped that much money into it. So this Umbreon, the most expensive card we pulled tonight, is twenty six dollars and seventeen cents, guys. That is... That's what TCG's uh, little value is, and I mean I gotta say TCG sometimes a little low. When you look at eBay sales, sometimes they're a little higher. But regardless, that the best way to kind of value them because they're for the most part within range. Yeah, and when you go on eBay, you will see like if you look this card up, you will see higher prices because the difference is it's also the owner's value. It's not always just the the TCG player's value. It's what they think they can get out of it. Exactly, and this I mean, for if I wanted to go and grade this, it wouldn't be a bad candidate because it's a uh, evolution. Yeah, um, that's one thing you got to say. Evolutions, legendaries are always a good idea to grade because um, they're always going to hold the value. You, you look at a, <laughs> okay, not going to be a good idea, but a Shuckle or a Wobbuffet, they, they hold <laughs> comical value. But a Pokemon like uh, this Crustle, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, uh, he's not bad. I think uh, Ash had him in the, in the, in the TV show, uh, or Brock maybe, maybe it was Brock. But still, I mean, he's not very memorable. You know what he holds though, guys? Boulder value. <laughs> all right moving on all right guys so so when you add all of that up we've we're literally not even at fifty dollars for a value uh we got 26 then 10 rounding up uh and <laughs> five uh so you're like just scraping up to 40 there there's another three so 43 yeah so about 47 four, bucks yeah about 45 to 47 bucks depending on how the change most of the change is pretty low so but still pretty good uh, pull uh, for our first pull. Uh, we didn't, you know, walk away with a $10 bag of cards, yeah, but uh, we still, you know, barely got a, uh, co about a quarter of what we have in it, right? Very true. And we, you gotta think, we do still have those six packs, and it could contain a very good card. Who knows, but that's the value of keeping them, because you might not ever know. Yeah, so, I mean, who knows? Maybe this is what was holding our $100 cards, um, but... We're going to try to keep uh, do the same thing. Every 36-pack booster box we buy, we're going to try to save six, three each, put them away, open them one day later on, or sell them as is someday later on as well. We'll have to yep. see where we go. So um, until then, guys, this is our uh, pool for our Evolving Skies box break. Uh, first box break we've done together. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Um, I definitely did as well. But yeah, guys, this is those guys, and we will catch you guys next time. See you later.